Can I provide a definition? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. I can't. You can't? N not in okay. this context. So I'm not a biologist. The of the Your name is a tongue twister. Tell the truth and get some power. Can we have honest conversations about race in America? Congratulations to Kentanji Brown Jackson, one of the most powerful people in the history of America. Only have one question for you. One question only. You son of a bitch. I only have one fucking question for you. And that one question is, what is a woman? The greatest American alive. Hey, today, the greatest American alive is dedicated to all the beautiful women in America. Uh, your mama's mama and your mama's mama and you, the greatest American alive. Every beautiful woman in America. This is dedicated to you and Kentanji Brown Jackson, one of the most powerful women to ever exist in the history of America. She gets the platform to have a conversation on behalf of all the other wonderful American women when they ask her the most important question in the history of America, what is a woman? And let's listen to her wonderful response. Can I provide a definition? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. I can't. You can't? America! not in okay. this context. So I'm not a biologist. The of the when they ask Kentanji Brown Jackson, what is a woman? Listen to her great response. And when I talk to the greatest American live today, someone has to fight on behalf of women. Someone has to stand up for the greatest American live, the greatest Americans alive, beautiful American women. Someone has to fight on behalf of grade A natural born American vagine. If I can't say the whole word, baby, I'm just going to call it Gina. I love me some Gina and it ain't got to be cleaner. You hear me? You can have one of those big giant woof cookies. You understand? But we're talking about coochie, coochie, coo, coochie, coochie, coo. And I ain't talking about no baby. No, I'm not coochie, coochie, coo. Congratulations to Kentanji Brown Jackson, one of the most powerful Americans in the history of the world. And for some reason in America, we cannot, we cannot question power. And I just have one question. Can I provide a definition? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. I can't. You can't? America! Not in okay. this context. So I'm not a biologist. The of the what is a woman? Oh my goodness. Can we answer this question, please? I know what I like. I know what I like. I know what I like. I likes what I like. Some people like other things. Some people like doodle. -doo. I don't do the doodle -doo thing. I like to do the pooty tang. I like that tang tang. I like that sweet coochie coo. I love me some memory glands. I love me some lactating memory glands. They are the best. Oh my goodness. Just take me a fat memory gland and just squeeze that bad boy all over my face like, ah. It's terrific, you hear me? Got milk, I'm thirsty. Moose, I moo, milk it, milk it. The greatest Americans alive when they come with memory glands. Oh my goodness, they can feed a nation, save a nation through a memory gland. It's fantastic, you hear me? But when you ask one of the most powerful women who have ever existed in the history of America what a woman is, just listen to her answer. Can I provide a definition? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. I can't. You can't? America! Not in okay. this context. So I'm not a biologist. The of the Why can't she say I love ovaries? Oh my goodness, I love ovaries. Without ovaries, I wouldn't be here. Without ovaries, there would be no Project Daddy. And so when I say that I love me some ovaries, oh my God, I love me some ovaries. Oh, if you only got one, it's all good. And if you ain't got none, then it ain't no fun. Because I love babies. I love babies and lactating memory glands. Oh my goodness. Tell the truth and get some power. If you love your memory gland, you better raise your hand. If you love your memory gland, you better raise your hand. Tell the truth and get some power. I'm fighting on behalf of the most wonderful citizens in the history of the world, the American woman. Oh my goodness, so beautiful, so amazing, so refreshing, so divine. I don't take no breaks. I don't take no breaks. I got my red wings 10 times because... The American woman is so divine. I got my red wings at least 10 times. Boy, I can just fly. And I ain't talking about no red bull. Do you understand me? The Gina. <laughs> the Gina gives me wings. And I ain't talking about no red bull. Do you understand? The Gina gives me wings. And I ain't talking about no red bull. The greatest American alive, baby. The greatest American alive. 
This this ball cap is a phenomenal ball cap. It's probably one of the most amazing ball caps in the history of the world. You need this ball cap. Yes, you do. If you're a beautiful woman in America to represent your beauty, you need to wear one of these ball caps. You step outside with this bad boy on. It's like saying I'm the baddest, most amazing woman that's ever existed in the history of the world. Don't you want to see my mammary glands? Raise your hand if you would like to see beautiful mammary glands only with consent. We ask for permission first before they start spraying that lovely, lovely life milk all over my face lactating memory glands <clears throat> tell the truth and get some power man beauty is under attack in america and the most beautiful thing in america is to see a beautiful woman who has a child that's suckling from her breast there's nothing more beautiful than that because that produces life and as an american citizen who wants to see this great nation flourish we got to have babies y'all you better find you a all natural grade a american woman he better put a seed in that bad lady because we want america to be the most powerful nation that's ever existed in the history of the world and the only way that we can do that the only way that we can do that is if we make babies don't look at me crazy tell the truth and get some power the only way that you can have a great nation is if you have people and the only way that you can have people is if we make babies tell the truth and get some power don't look at me crazy tell the truth and get some motherfucking power i got my red wings 10 times i don't give a damn i love me some memory glands raise your hand if you like some memory glands if you about i love me a big old fat wolf coochie and i ain't talking about no baby coochie coochie cool god damn tell the truth and get some motherfucking power y'all out playing some silly ass games you play silly games you get silly ass prizes when you play good games you get babies you hear me i'm talking about i'm talking about fucking <laughs> I is talking about fucking. They said, Project Daddy. Yes, that's me. Project Daddy. Why are you wearing those overalls? Because I'm a cotton-picking motherfucker. Stop playing with me. Do you understand? It's in my blood. Some of the greatest American citizens pick cotton. And from that lineage, here I come to fight on behalf of the most beautiful, the most powerful entity in America. The most beautiful, the most powerful entity in America is the great A, all-natural American woman. I salute you for being the greatest American alive. You give me hope every day when I see those thick thighs. Please, Project Daddy, don't sin. Close your eyes when you see those beautiful women. But I can always dream. Boy, I can always dream. Do you dream about that, Gina? Gina, I dream about you. You're so gorgeous. Gina, I think about you in my sleep, Gina. Oh, my goodness. If I ever have a coma, Gina, I promise you, the only thing that's going to be going through my vegetable-ass mind is you, the greatest American alive. You are the greatest American alive. 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 The greatest American alive.